Hey guys, it's Vintage Vinny, and this is my quarter four Amazon FBA sales report video. I did pretty darn well this past holiday season here on Amazon. If you want to see my eBay sales report for Q4, go ahead and click the card up above. Didn't do nearly as well as I had anticipated with eBay, but that's okay because thank God for Amazon, I did so well. I do have it the first item pulled up here because there's so much to show you all and hopefully I can get it all in in 15 minutes because that's how much time I get to record with Screencast-O-Matic for free. So as you can see, the very first item to sell this holiday season was a Swimways 3-in-1 pool party game combo I picked up at Marshall's on heavy clearance from the summertime. I got it for $4 and with my 10% discount I paid $3.60 for that excuse me, and the, they were originally asking $19.99, and I sold it for $44.99. Next item to sell is something I probably picked up at the Goodwill for probably $1.99 to $2.99. The Walking Dead, the complete first season for Xbox One, I probably did pay about $1.79 with the rewards membership discount, so I sold that for $25.99. This is something I picked up at Probably the last flea market that we went to, which was months ago. It's a Lambs and Ivy Duchess lamp with shade and bulb. I picked that up brand new in the box for $8. The box did have some condition issues, but I mentioned that in the listing, but the item was brand new. So I paid $8 and I sold it for $74.99. I uh, picked up Classic Pit from Salvation Army for $3.99. Sold it for $64.99. Again, another brand new sealed item. This was something that I picked up at a new used bookstore down in Texas for the green room meetup. Kind of a weird thing. I had never been into something like that, so this was an arbitrage item. Me and a couple other guys bought a bunch of these and we sent them in. I sold both of them for $36.99 each. This was something that I had anticipated not sending in because they seemed to be doing eh. So, I picked up a bunch of these Star Theaters. I paid mostly $4.99 or 20% uh, off. If I bought it at the uh, charity thrift store. I had like three of them in. I sold all of them for $24.99 each. I think I had two that sold. One did get refunded because it may have been like an issue um, with the quality or something of that nature. But not a problem because I still made money. Alright, another one of those Grateful Dead jigsaw puzzles picked this guy up at an antique store. It was in one of the booths and it was just buried underneath a bunch of stuff and they had five bucks on it. I flipped it for $32.99. Another really, really good pickup on my part is a US Robotics 5686D 56K V92 external fax modem. That I think I paid $9.99 for at Goodwill, but with the rewards membership discount, I got it for $8.99 and I sold it for $59.99. As you can see, the shipping total was $21.97, so that must have probably been sent overseas. Another really, really good item that I think I picked up either at Goodwill or the Salvation Army is an Eclipse 25005 computer light. And I think I may have paid 6 or $7, maybe even less. I can't even remember anymore. And I sold it for $44.99. Alright, I picked this up at a flea market. I think I paid 2 bucks for it. A brand new and sealed Melissa and Doug Kissing Horses with a Barn Jigsaw Puzzle. A 200-piece puzzle. And I sold it for $24.99. This was something that I have had in my inventory since I started over a year ago now. So yay, one year Amazon anniversary, whoop whoop. So this was something I bought way back when I didn't know a lot about Amazon and how to, you know, pay attention to fees and things of that nature. So I lowered the price on this and it finally sold at Christmas time for $12.99. I'm probably not going to get much for it after fees, probably six or seven bucks. But that was a learning experience for me. Alright, this was something I picked up RA again, probably at Home Goods when we were clearancing all of our inflatable wraps and everything. I think I may have paid eight bucks for this. Sold it for $54.99. Got this Precious Moments Prayer Pal doll. It was the boy, it was 10 inch, it was plush blue prayer doll. 
paid $1.79 for that, sold it for $18.99. This was an extremely good pickup on my part. Got this at the, Go uh, no, not Goodwill, it was uh, Salvation Army, and I think I paid $3.99 for it. It was in really, really good condition. The disc was clean as can be, it had the manuals. The jewel case was a little am, but it still sold for $59.99. One of the strangest things, the password journal had been discontinued by the manufacturer. I remember seeing ads for it on TV when I was little. Picked that up brand new at a th uh, charity thrift store for 4 bucks. Sold it for $43.99. I can't remember if this was something that I picked up at a pawn shop in Texas. I think it was. The SingStar Dance Party Pack for the PlayStation 3. I can't even remember where I picked this up. I think I did pick this up in Texas now that I think about it. So I think I may have paid $15 for it. I took some chances with some higher priced items, which I think everybody should do at some point in this reselling journey. So I paid, I think, $10 to $15 for this, and it sold for $49.99. Something I've also had in my inventory for quite a while and was kind of hesitant to send it in is a Starbucks Venti insulated travel tumbler. It was 24 ounces. I paid $3.99 for that at Goodwill many a moon ago. And it wasn't new. It was not used like new. It was not used very good. I put it in used good condition. It did have scratches and stuff like that, which is normal for drinking um, Venti tumblers, I guess you could say. But I still managed to get $19.99 for it. Another Marshalls pickup is this Rectech Steel Spike and Smash game. I saw people playing this on the beach when I was up in Maine. It looked pretty fun, but again, we don't play games like that very much because everything's digital now. Who plays games like this anymore unless you're a very active athletic family, I guess. No judgment to anybody. So I picked that up on heavy clearance again for $4. No, I'm sorry, $6. And then take $0.60 cents off of that, so I paid about $5.40 for that. Originally, Marshalls was charging $29.99, and I sold it for $36.99. Alright, this was something that I think was pretty darn good pickup on my part. It's an ant farm, and I think it came in three pieces. And it kind of clipped together, kind of like maybe uh, like a train of some sort. This was $0.99 cents with the rewards discount. I got it for $0.79. Cents. Sold it for $19.99. Another really, really good pickup is a Solstice Malibu mattress. I think this was the one that someone returned because maybe it was too big or whatnot. So when they returned it, I inflated it just to make sure there were no holes or anything like that. Rolled it up as best I could, put it back in the box, and taped the box shut because it wouldn't close. So I taped it shut, sent it back into Amazon, and it sold for $69.99. Picked this uh, Kung Fu Panda 2 Chia Pet up at Goodwill for probably $4.49. Sold it for $28.99. Another item I picked up at a thrift store in Texas is the Super Mario Bros. 3 NES game. I think I probably paid $4.98 or maybe even more like $6.98 for it. And I sold it for $29.99. Remember I told you all about these? These Folk Manus Timberwolf hand puppets? Definitely be on the lookout for those because those can sell for good money. This actually came from a, a heavy pickup haul that I had a while ago. It was probably during the late summer that I picked it up. I was walking home and there was a bunch of stuff on the side of the road that apparently had been abandoned and I was like, oh, let me go see what's there. And I find all these um, hand puppets made by Folk Manus. And I looked at the price tag and some of these puppets this person paid up for, so I knew they had to be worth something. So this was a free item, and I sold it for $32.99. Alright, this was an exceptionally good pickup. This is a Backcountry Adventures Colorado hardcover book from 2008. I picked this up at a local weigh and pay that is unfortunately not open to the public anymore, meaning they sell stuff on Craigslist, etc. They don't have like a store anymore. So all their books were $0.25. Cents. I picked this one up and I sold it for 
picked this up at a flea market back in, I think, September. It's a Mr. Potato Head Elvis Presley, the Spud King toy, brand new in the box. I think I paid 2 or $3 for it, and it sold for $39.99. This was an exceptionally good pickup. I posted this to Facebook, and I posted it to Instagram if you didn't see it. These are Bose in-ear headphones that were discontinued by the manufacturer. I picked these up one week when we were going antiquing, and we went to this place called Memory Lane, which is kind of like a co-op place. You can sell new and vintage items there. So I paid $26 for these, and I sold them for $2.99.99. Again, this was another heavy pickup piece that I had picked up. Becoming Basic Considerations for a Psychology of Personality, the text Texture. The Terry Lecture Series, paperback, 1960, Allport, Gordon W. Pick this up for free along with a bunch of other books. If you see books on the side of the road and people are just saying take them, take them home with you, scan them and see if they're going for something. And if they're not, donate them to your local thrift store. Because you got to take a chance with media because a lot of media is doing very well right now. So I paid nothing for this, sold it for $14.99. All right, another good game that I picked up at a flea market is the game Risk, the game of strategic conquest. That I actually bought along with a bunch of other stuff for $2 and I sold it for $49.99. Again, another awesome pickup from TJ Maxx, a Stanley Classic Lunchbox. It didn't have tags or anything like that, but it was brand new, never used, and these are high quality lunchboxes. Great for construction, camping, you name it. Anything outdoorsy, this thing will withstand. Paid, I think, $12 and then 20% off of that, so about $10 and some change. Sold for $119.99. Another exceptionally great pickup on my part is this brand new Wii Fit Plus with balance board. Brand new in the box, sealed, had everything with it. I paid $8.99, sold it for $114.99. This was a more recent pickup. I think I bought this probably in October or November. It's the, um, it's like a three pack game with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Family Feud, and Deal or No Deal. Paid probably $6.99 for that, and then with a rewards membership discount, it went down to like $5.39. Sold it for $34.99. Most recent sale prior to Q4 ending was Portal 2 PC. Again, this was probably another um, roadside pickup that someone had just thrown away. So I got that for nothing, sold it for $59.99. So that was my Q4 Amazon FBA sales report video. If you love it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Head on over to Periscope. I'm under Vintage Vinny. Instagram, vintage underscore Vinny's treasures also Vintage Vinny. Everything is linked down below. Facebook groups that I'm a part of if you like to see what I've sold before I do videos. All that is down below. So go ahead and check all that out. And thank you all so much for watching.